Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and in today's video, I'm going to show you several different ways to tag your horses when faced with emergency weather situations or evacuation. Not all emergencies give prior notice, but some, like hurricanes or wildfires, give people in their paths a bit of time to evacuate or otherwise find safety. Anything can happen in an emergency, and you want other people to be able to contact you in case your horse gets lost and found by someone else. Yes, horses should be microchipped by a vet, but in the aftermath of emergency situations, your local vets may be busy with injuries, or the person who finds your horse may not know about microchipping. This video is not about whether or not to evacuate your horses. That is a decision that you have to make with the help of your vet and local emergency management. But whether you are evacuating or sheltering in place, tagging your horses with your phone number is an excellent idea, and it's a simple step to take to ensure your horse's safety during times of emergency and stress. There are two ways I have used to mark hooves. One is colored nail polish, the other is permanent marker in a contrasting color. Silver for dark hooves, black for light hooves. A note about permanent marker, it is not actually permanent. You can't just write with a sharpie on your horse's hooves and expect it to be there any more than an hour or two. Anything you mark with a permanent marker needs a coat of clear nail polish over the top of it to keep it from smearing and wearing off. A great way to get emergency info onto your horse is braiding an ID tag into your horse's mane. That is, if your horse has a mane long enough to braid a tag into. <laughs> if you have time, you can have a special ID tag made. You can either like order one online or go down to your local PetSmart. Or... Then you just braid that in your horse's mane and you secure that with hay string or yarn or lots of elastic hair ties. Secure it well. You can also make homemade tiles out of recycled plastic. Just like cut a tag and cut a hole in it and mark it with permanent marker. Remember to coat it with clear nail polish and then braid that in your horse's hair. Uh, for one of the hurricanes last year, we actually wrote little notes and rolled them up in Ziploc baggies and braided those into the mains. I think um, Artax has said, hi, my name is Artax. Uh, my humans miss me. Could you please help me find them? We braided it in there and put a billion rubber bands on it and it survived everything. So there are several ways to braid your ID information into your horse's mane. Just make sure it can survive the inclement weather. Just spray paint your phone number on your horse's body. Honestly, this is the cheapest and the easiest one. Get a 98 cents can of spray paint and spray it on there. This one is the best. This lasts for weeks and someone doesn't even have to catch your horse to be able to see your phone number on the side of it and call you about it so they can report a sighting even if they didn't catch it. I have heard people say don't use spray paint, that it is damaging to the horse's coat and skin. And honestly, after one of the storms we had, um, there were a patches of hair coming off underneath where the spray paint was, but I didn't notice any skin irritation. Just putting that out there, because if you have a horse with sensitive skin, you may want to skip this one. A note about halters. Horses should never be turned out in halters. It is simply too dangerous. The potential for injury is too great. That is why I do not suggest putting ID information on a halter and turning your horse out in the halter. Now, if you're evacuating, marking your halter and lead rope with your name and ID information is a great idea, as well as bringing extras. But if you're weathering a storm or sheltering in place, it is best to leave the halter off your horse and put your ID info on their bodies in another way. It's safer for your horse. Thank you for watching my video today. If you found this video because you are currently facing an emergency, take a deep breath. Now go and get some spray paint and nail polish. Leave me a comment below if you'd like some words of encouragement. For all my regular subscribers, we'll get back to magic and art and unicorns next week, I promise. <laughs> Check the description box below for links to emergency services for horse owners, as well as links to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, all that internet stuff down below. And if you're not currently facing an emergency, then there's some more videos over here that you can click on if you want. Go watch some more of my videos. I made a bunch of them and they're all for you.